All right, 14 tiers down, 93% complete. So one final tier, three more gold trophies between me and my Aston Martin Vantage GT4. The last, the fifth of the GT4 cars in the current version. So without further ado, let's uh, wrap this up, shall we? Tier 15, start with elimination. It's gonna be at Suzuka East. So, all right, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, it's not one of those tracks that uh, we're starting too far away from the first corner um, because that's the only time when you're not going to be able to survive the elimination unserviced because you know if it takes longer than 20 seconds to reach the first corner then no matter how much your bots are trained um, they will still uh, you still won't be able to keep up with them you know what I mean Anyway, um, let's uh, sweep them off the track. There we go. <laughs> keep the keep the track clear of the opponents. Up. Oh. What's that? All right. That liner wants to race. Well, that's what I think. Alright, where's it gonna be? Straight on the side. Alright. Of course, this is utterly unnecessary at this point. Uh, it is, isn't it? Down the straights, these guys don't slow down really. <laughs> Alright. Almost did not survive that elimination. And then Batliner, yes, that is personal, Mr. And Gail Loken. A good lad, and let me pitch you. There we go, nice, nice spin move there. All right, and that does it for this elimination. Right, so that is first of the final three trophies that we're gonna need. Some 1400 fame points for the effort. Okay, so that was fun. So let's move on. I think the next one was Elimination. There it is. Alright. Up next we got... Oh! Endurance! That's right. We just did the Elimination. Okay, Endurance at Silverstone International. What is the target? And... Oh yeah, there's a... Uh, the top speed event Aston Martin at Silverstone all right let's see for the top speed event I think you only need the national circuit I don't think you need a Grand Prix Anyway, three kilometers is the distance that I need to cover, so 
I probably have to overtake three cars and that should be good enough, I think. Alright, and of course we kind of join in on the hangar straight here. Cutting across the whole back section of the circuit. Is that back or would that be the front? I don't know, it's always still a little tricky to tell which side is front. Alright, so not exactly gonna be uh, all that impressive top speed that I'm setting here with this event but uh, you know right now my goal is to win this car by completing the remaining um, events of course after this we just have a cup left so Right on the money, three kilometers. And some 710 fame points, pretty dismal. But then again, you only cover three kilometers, so. Um, is it one of those top speed event that you cannot go off track because I didn't get I didn't set score did I huh all right ah they're they're getting into those now you cannot hit a wall like you cannot damage your car or go off track while setting the top score or top speed ah fair enough all right anyway here we are 44 gold trophies down one final gold trophy remains and it's gonna be one from this cup race at Hokanan Grand Prix. PR 63.6 is required and to review once again three upgrades across the board for a cost of some 286 gold and this of course is the last of the GT4 cars in the current version we do have one more limited time series, and that is for an older car, uh, Sesto Elemento, if I remember. So, um, I'm trying to remember, I think I'm, mine might be fully upgraded already. So, I'll probably run through just so I can recoup some of the gold that, you know, we've spent in this version. Because there were quite a bit. It's like uh, 200, about 200 per car, right? So, that's a thousand gold. And yes, we did have, uh, I guess, four weeks, about, right? So, like, let's say if you landed, um, let's say, rank B or group B in your weekly time trial, that is another 400 gold that you do get back. And then if you have done your, well, daily uh, ads, let's say you watch five ads per day for a month, then that's five times 30. So, you know, that's, uh, is that really 100? That is 150, isn't it? And then, of course, daily bonus, there's some gold. So, um, when the gold cost for an update, let's say all the new cars, is about a thousand, perhaps that's not too bad. You can. If you really try with some team events and whatnot, you might be able to come out ahead or possibly, have, yeah, come out ahead or at least break even. Um, it's when they, the upgrade cost is in like 1600, uh, which has been the case with uh, some earlier updates. Those were expensive. Man, 
Um, but of course, you don't necessarily have to win every car, so you just have to, you know, budget accordingly and plan accordingly. Go for the cars you think you can win, right? Anyway, enough of me yapping. Let's wrap this up. Three lapper, Hockenheim Grand Prix, and um, obviously we don't need to slow down bots here. So, ah. Uh, but the car's performance is rather hindered because, you know, I haven't been servicing. I don't think I've serviced once for the entire uh, limited time series. So I had to redo some of the events. Um, but in terms of servicing, I think this one I got through with zero servicing. Not that, you know, that is really necessary because, you know, Anytime you take a break, you can just throw the car into service, right? It takes three hours, you know, go to, go get some air or, you know, do like non-real racing three related activities, which there are plenty, so. Anyway, there we go. Seven. Place. I should probably let this guy go, huh? We want to get pitted in order to stay ahead, which is unnecessary. Damn, whoops. There we go, staying on track. I think I did. Sixth place. Now we're taking fifth place. A couple more overtakes here. Fourth place, the Mercedes corner, and third place heading into the mobile one. My favorite spot to do that, do some drifting, and then before you know it, we are gonna be in first place. A little bit of bumping with the leader existing. Alright, so first lap, minute 48 and change. I just, uh, I don't think I can quite take that first northern curve flat out, but didn't need to really brake either. It's kind of a little tap on the, you know, playing with the gas to get through, carrying quite a bit of speed, take advantage of the strength of the car, the high grip. Alright, so I think I got 27 seconds at the first sector checkpoint. So second checkpoint should be what, um, like 54 seconds? I don't think I'll quite make it there in 54. It's gonna be a little bit later than that. Um, you know, with the hairpin and all. Minute one. All right. So you can think of it as each sector taking somewhere near 30 seconds, right? which means a full lap should be about minute 30. Um, but not if I skid off track like that, because that really hurts, and it's going to be over minute 30. Oh no, that's no fun. Well, here's the last chance, 134. Can we beat 134? Alright, I like that one better. Although I might have gotten slightly off track on the exit. Alright. Not bad. 23, 24, 25. Did I already pass 28 seconds? So this is actually not as good as the last lap. But maybe we can recoup some of that here. Alright, so the last lap, 
the second checkpoint time was minute one second. Let's see if we can improve on that. Okay, that was much tighter. But, oh yeah, look at that. One minute, shaved off a second somewhere. Alright. And let's stay on track here. Ah, uh, same exact spot, isn't it? <laughs> it? You know what it is. I think I've cleared it and of course I jump on the gas and I'm jumping on the gas without steering properly. So, minute 32. Oh. Alright. Gotta clear out, uh, clean up that last bit. The sax curve. Yes, telling you, Hockenheim, not very good. I struggle on this track. Um, I don't know which one I struggle more, between this one and Daytona. I think Daytona is probably worse. Um, but uh, Hockenheim, you know, it's been in the game since the very beginning, so I have no reason to suck at this, but uh, well, here I am. All right, well, let's get the car in for service since we're done with this limited time series. Once again, three upgrades across the board. 21 upgrades. And what was the PR? 63.6 or something like that. Okay, there we are. Final gold trophy. 30 gold is the final gold reward. But, this is the real prize. Ah, uh, yes. Um, yeah, uh, once in 2019 season of GT4, Obviously, we're going to get mixture of five different manufacturers, five different cars. So that series should be a lot more fun than this limited time series where we only race against the same exact cars. So there we go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed um, the playthrough video here for the all the limited time series that I've run through. Um, and if you're currently running to win this car, since uh, I think the other one all expired, the limited time series, good luck. There's still a couple of days left on this one. Um, yeah, three days, I think, still remain on this one. So, yeah, good luck and thanks for watching. And we'll see you in uh, next video. I guess uh, I'll have to check into the 2019 season of GT4 and kind of make some comparison videos of these cars actually on track since I've kind of done a uh, you know, comparison video based on specs. But, uh, um, you know, specs are numbers. How the drive is very different, right? So, yeah. All right, so stay tuned for that. Uh, until then, we'll see you later.